Detroit is known as the Motor City, or even Motown. What it is not known for, however, is their sports teams. The Red Wings had a solid run winning four Stanley Cups from 1996 to 2008. Unfortunately, hockey's not as popular as I or other fans of the sport would like it to be. Though, even the Red Wings have missed three straight postseasons and are currently in the Atlantic Division basement in the NHL. In the NBA, the Pistons had a couple of nice runs. From 1987 to 1990, the Pistons were in all three of those NBA Finals, winning two of them. And who could forget their two straight Finals appearances from 2003 to 2005, where they took out a team that featured the late Kobe Bryant, God rest his soul, Shaq, Carl Malone, and Gary Payton in five games. Then they lost in a Game 7 to Tim Duncan's Spurs the following year. Since the Super Bowl became a thing, the Lions have won one playoff game. Just one. And they can thank Barry Sanders for that. What about baseball? What about the Tigers? Well, they've had moderate success. Denny McLean's MVP in Cy Young 1968 propelled the Tigers to a World Series win over the St. Louis Cardinals in seven games. In 1984, Willie Hernandez had a similar year, winning the MVP and Cy Young when the Tigers won the World Series in five games over the San Diego Padres. They lost the ALCS to the division rival Twins in 1987 in five games and disappeared from postseason play for years. That is, until Justin Verlander changed that. In 2006, the Tigers beat the Yankees and Athletics en route to the World Series, where the St. Louis Cardinals enacted their 1968 revenge, winning in five games. Justin Verlander was 0-2 in the World Series as a rookie. Miguel Cabrera still played for the then Florida Marlins at that time. After that run, the Tigers made a change. On December 5th, 2007, the Marlins traded Miguel Cabrera and starting pitcher Dontrell Willis to the Detroit Tigers for pitchers Andrew Miller, who is going on to have a great career right now, Dallas Traherne, Eulogio De La Cruz, and Burke Badenhop. They also traded outfielder Cameron Mabin, who is still a pretty nice role player, and catcher Mike Rabello. With Cabrera, the Tigers missed the playoffs for four straight years. In 2011, Justin Verlander came back into his own, winning the MVP and Cy Young Awards. If you notice the trend in Detroit, pitchers who do that had led the Tigers to World Series wins. After beating the Yankees in five games in the ALDS, it looked like the Tigers had a serious chance to keep that streak going. What they didn't count on was the dominance of Nelson Cruz, who hit six home runs for the Texas Rangers in a 4-2 series win. The Tigers regrouped and got back to the postseason in 2012 behind Miguel Cabrera's first MVP award. They won the ALDS in five games over the A's and swept the Yankees in the ALCS, which was an amazing accomplishment. However, the World Series versus the Giants was doomed from the start. High fastball swung on and belted deep in the center. Jackson going back. Two going back. Adios! Penalta! Pablo Sandoval! In Game 1, Justin Verlander was shelled, giving up five runs in just four innings. And the trio of Barry Zito, Madison Bumgarner, and Ryan Vogelsong, aided by Tim Lincecum in the bullpen at the end of his career, lifted the Giants to a four-game sweep of the Detroit Tigers. The next year, Miguel Cabrera won another MVP, and Max Scherzer added another Cy Young winner to the Tigers' history. However, they would lose in six games to the Red Sox in the ALCS. 
They have now missed the playoffs for five straight seasons and are, without a doubt, projected by most to miss again this year. They haven't won a World Series since 1984, despite having some game-changing pitchers. And one of the best power hitters of our generation. Miguel Cabrera is now 36 and will be 37 on April 18th. A career 315 hitter who is 185 hits from the 3000 club and 23 home runs from the 500 club. We will look to end his career properly as a Tiger and with all the accolades he deserves. We will also look to bring on the next generation of Tigers greats. Casey Mize and Matt Manning are number 7 and number 24 respectively on MLB's list of the top 100 prospects. We will look to groom the two starting pitchers to group them with Matthew Boyd and create a dominant starting rotation that can bring Detroit its first championship as a city since 2008 and its first World Series since 1984. I have plans to make this one of the most immersive MLB The Show franchises ever created on this platform. There will be opportunities to get yourself in on the action as well, so make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell on so we can build a winner together. The Detroit Tigers franchise on MLB The Show 20 is coming soon. Giving Cabrera a shot here. The 2-2. Two -two. High fly ball center field. Gardner going back, still going back. Track, wall, and gone! Unbelievable! He did it again! You want some of those? Come get some. You're a pretty little star boy.